I didn't know these guys spawned on this map? Is this even its own variant? Is this a scorched variant? Oh, it has a scorched variant! Alrighty, guys. So, welcome back to Ark, where today... I'm going to be getting me a good wyvern, and we're going to be going out, and we're going to be kind of like getting drops, leveling up the wyvern, but most importantly, we need to get deathworm horns for tomorrow, okay? That's the goal. So, I've gotten my uh, my breeding pair of lightning wyverns here done, so I still have the fire and poison wyverns to go, um, but the lightning wyverns are done, and did it drop an egg already? It did, so boom. We got us an egg, and that means I can throw these guys in cryopods. Um, I still don't have me a cryo fridge, and I still don't have me a feeding trough, which is something I probably should have done. Which, you know what, we could probably quickly set up the feeding trough here before we we're done this episode. I don't know why I'm looking for a cryo fridge. I don't have one. So, they can go... You can hop in my fabricator here for right now. I'm out of everything. Like, seriously, I am. Okay, boom, you can hatch. Now let's go work on that uh, feeding trough. Okay, I've figured out the feeding trough. Now I just gotta get all my guys in the circle who need food, which that is basically all my wyverns. So, uh, well, let's do this. That egg is still going. It takes about six minutes on my settings for an egg. Little bit over six minutes, so. It shouldn't take long, though. The thing is, is I also need a lot of meat because most of my guys are carnivores. So, I only got, like, three berry-eating guys. So, the Castorotis, the Anki, and the Moralitops. Those are the only guys that are, uh, berry-eaters or herbivores. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word, but I figured it out. It's herbivore. <laughs> I feel like an idiot sometimes. Uh. Alrighty. The egg's about to hatch. Thunderstorm is rolling in, and boom! Look at those colors as well. So it is a combination of some of the vanilla ones and a couple. I think I got, let me see here. I think four of those are, uh... Those are the event colors. Sorry, I couldn't think of what, what to say there again. <laughs> so, some I think, yeah, three of them there are event colors. Or no, four of them there are event colors. And then two of them are regular colors, if I'm correct. Or I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure, yeah. This guy, though, he looks awesome. He, she, you know what? You're going to be named Storm. Because a thunderstorm decided to roll in while we were doing this. And your lightning wyvern. There we go. We got storm. So, I should have everything here as well to get her imprinted. I have a lot of wyvern's milk still. Um, I hope. Since my stack mod updated here, luckily, I've been, like, four scorched earth. I have, like, a 50 stack of milk in there. So, it's not, like, individual. Which I'm thankful about. So... You chill right there. I'm gonna go get some milk. Make sure I still have some. It's been about a good four hours since last time I recorded. Where is it? Okay, we're good. We're down We're down quite a bit, though. We're down, like, last time I checked, I think it was at, like, 44. So we're down by 10. So it's down quite a bit. But that's one, one alpha wyvern. Um, I'm hoping the imprint does better because I did have a previous wyvern. Also, that wyvern wasn't wasn't bred, wasn't bred to perfection. You are not my wyvern. I am so. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I didn't realize it wasn't my wyvern until I pulled out the binoculars. <laughs> but yeah, this is my wyvern. This one's been bred to perfection. The only thing I have that I'd say I could have probably done better with is health. But 41 is not bad. Especially with the difficulty of having to wrangle 190s and try to keep them in the trench so that way they could lay an egg. Like, I'd have to lose them in the trench, find them back in the trench without getting their aggro, and then watch and make sure that an egg would spawn near them, and then make sure that egg was actually leveled, 
and then hope that I got the right gender from that egg. That was like an actual problem at a point. Like, I kept on getting eggs, and all I kept on getting was female. And then he, I was even checking the parents, like, this egg came from a male wyvern, which I don't even know how, but yeah. Uh, and it's saying it is what? Oh, you can't, it's not the right gender. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, anyways, we're going to sit back and watch you grow. So she wants to go on a walk with me. So I just keep on backing up until I see uh, imprinting come up. I've thrown milk in her, but she wants to go for a walk. Which this one is probably the most difficult one. Because it takes so long sometimes, and you never know, like, when you'll get it. There we go. I just got the imprinting. 25%. But, as you notice there, it took quite a long time to get it. Uh, I'm hoping I can make up some time. Because that popped up at 22%, so I know I have a, like, 3% leeway. Where the hell is it? I don't want to have to cry. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to. Just because you... Ark's new improved AI are not that new or improved. They're just smarter when it comes to traps for some reason. But when they're your dinos, it's the same AI. So... Okay, so, yeah. That leeway is by, like, 0.3. Please do not want to go for a walk. Thank you. Uh, we're, we're back technically in the lead. Um, I'm hoping I can get a lead on uh, his growth here. But it seems like it's neck and neck. But I'm pretty sure I should have a lead. Okay, please don't want anything dumb. Hand-fed wyvern milk. I can do that. Boom. And like I said, we now have a th uh, almost 3% lead. But yeah, we're actually doing really good. Also, I did throw half of my wyvern milk in him. Jeez, you ate it all. I should not have done that. Um, He's fine. But yeah, I threw half my wyvern milk in there and he ate every single last bit of it. Ah. Okay, so I just hit it. And I didn't realize I hit, didn't hit my pause button. Um, he's 100% imprint. We made it. 96%. We're, we're done. That's the imprinting. So he should grow up here shortly. Now, what I need to do is I need to get one of my boxes of chocolate. So I've been breeding up my wyverns all day. I got a lot of chocolate. Okay, so I got my chocolate. Let's do this. You're not fully grown like I was hoping. I got I got to wait a little bit. Okay, we're good. Boom. And that is a fully healed wyvern. Now the only thing I need is food. Um, you know what? Food-wise, we'll just go get some creatures here and eat. Because we got a level. So, there is an explorer note up here. I have been saving. Jeez. That is loud. See it there? Boom. So we're going to grab this. I've been saving this just for the wyvern. I didn't even know this was up here until about two hours ago. I may have given Miss Walker too much... It's a Rockwell note. Boom. Got it. There's a Deodon right there. Suck at aiming. Got the Deodon. Now look at that. That's a lot. So I got 12 there. Right? That's... So I got 11 in stamina, right? Yes. Alright, let's not pump any more into stamina just yet. Even though I'm pretty sure I, that's what I'm going to want a lot in. And right now, though, I need to focus on killing creatures. Alright, landing and probably shooting is the best. There we go. Then we'll eat this so that way he can eat. Boom. We'll force feed you just so that way you get your stomach full. Actually, let's not do that. I'll just let you eat at your own rate. So, I want to get 11 more stat points. There's a bunch of dire wolves here. Oh, dire wolves and deodons. Oh, a dire wolf and two deodons. Oh, 
technically the killing better creatures is gonna give me more uh, points and then we got some thorny dragons down here I wonder if I can aim better in first person damn I just beam the moth out of the air that's awesome I'm just having a little too much fun here beaming things I'm not gonna lie Hold up. That's what I was trying to shoot at. I didn't even realize. That is so helping me right now. I think I'm going to put the next 11 stat points absolutely into... Uh, those are absolutely going to be going into my stamina. I just want to get a couple more points on him. Then I want to put... Oh, you know what I should... No, I shouldn't have waited. Actually, I probably should have. I should have waited to feed him that box of chocolates until after I had him leveled. Or got enough points to uh, level up his health with at least as much as I wanted. Because... I would say that's probably been my downfall with my last two... Uh, what is that? Hold up. No, no, no. I didn't know these guys spawned on this map. Is this even its own variant? Is this a scorched variant? Oh, it has a scorched variant. I didn't know this. Oh, if you guys didn't know, these are one of the modded creatures, the, the Aussie editions. This is one of them that I have, and it's awesome. I love this creature. It makes beer for you. And yes, we are about to kill it. For levels that thing oh yes it was a one time and one of the best thing is is that it spawns in three different sizes um the smallest one you can actually apparently fit in the tech cave and that is awesome because that means you could have uh a quite a well da quite a well damaged dealer inside the tech cave i ain't gonna lie and you can also have beds on its back so you can spawn or you can have your homeboys spawn with you if they die. Or that might not be correct, because they might have a prevention in Ark. I don't know. Damn, I really went off. I sh I did not re like realize the lightning wyvern would be this overpowered. Like it's legit a beam. And you know what the best part is? They have a turret mode. Watch, behavior, enable turret mode. Uh. Uh. What else do I need to do? Oh yeah, no, uh, t -t 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 back, Hold up. let's just whistle it, whistle newt, or whistle aggressive. Alright, yeah, no, never mind, I don't think that works the way I thought it does. Disable turret mode. I thought that ma would make him into like a turret and he would actually shoot things like a beam. Like a turret, you know? Like a Velanosaur. That was a 150 Moralitops. Can I still see its stats? I wonder. Watch the bot. It still show me its stats. Stamina. I could I eh, I wouldn't I don't know if I want stamina on morale tops, but it could have been good. Okay, so let's put eleven more into stamina. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And then we're gonna put twenty two in health. I 
I know I'm not counting this time. That's because, uh... Eh, 22 actually did work pretty well. I think... I think we're gonna do a total of 33 in health. But I'm gonna need more, uh... More kills for that. Also, that Moralitops looks kinda awesome. Level 20. Ooh, Equus. We'll, b we'll burn it. Ooh, I got the bugs attacking me. I might have to take out the nest. That'd actually probably be a good, a good idea. That was a lot of them that spawned. Let's get the queen. Beamed her. Okay, that is how it's done. Oh, we only got one more level for that. I guess we're kind of getting high up there in the levels. We've already... How many have we put in? We've already put in 33, right? Yeah, we've already... Actually, we've already put in 44 levels. So we're halfway. We're halfway on the leveling. And we're almost out of... Uh, What is it? We're almost out of our XP buff. You know what, though? I'm also getting levels, aren't I? I've gotten a level. That's awesome. Now I got 1,300 health. That's perfect. So technically, I got plus 25 levels when I came over to Scorched Earth. Because I got the Ascension... Oh, wait, hell, hold up. I got even more than that. Okay, so I got my Alpha Overseer Ascension. That's plus, that's plus 15. Now, I also had my Chibi. I already got that done. So, I've only gotten two levels plus far. So, then I also got the, I got, yeah, no, I got plus 25. I don't know why I thought I had more than that. No, I was correct. I got plus 25 because I got the Explorer Notes, and then I got the Alpha Overseer, and then we got the Chibi Levels. Now, technically, if I get all the Bob's Tails, in which I believe those are on Scorched Earth, I get an additional plus 5 levels, and then I also get the Scorched Earth Ascension, which, if I'm pretty sure, that should be... Um, I don't know how... I think that should be 15. It might be 10. I might be wrong. But let's go look for Death Rooms. I have to go fly around the desert until one spawns in. Alrighty, we got two death worms that spawned in, but I just spotted something here. I was trying to get stamina. Now. There we go. You're what I thought you were. You're the first time I've seen one of you. Oh, it threw dirt at me. Oh, I can't. Attack. There we go. Did they drop anything special? No. That snake really thought he stood a chance. Now, as well, I do believe there should be another explorer out here. We just have to get it. Is it in this? I think I see it. I see it in there. It's just... How do I hit it with the wyvern hitbox? Uh-oh. I might not be able to get this one with the wyvern. Yep. Also, I'm pretty sure the game's a little bugged out because it's trying to give me that achievement. Or the... The plus 10 Explorer Notes whenever I find them, even though I already have it. Now, I'm just trying to get one of these uh, Explorer Notes. Dang it, I need to land in there and try and uh, hit the Helene. Is there... I don't think I'm going to be able to. 
Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Yeah, no, we don't. Maybe we do. I got a plan. Four wheel drive, please. Come on, it's right below us. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get this one. Let's just go for the death worms. It's going to be the easiest. I should also probably grab that. Also, I guess the Fasilosuchus spawn out here. Level 10. Okay, where's my death worm? That's... Interesting. Did my death worm like die? I hope it didn't. It, you know what? Knowing Ark, it probably glitched out and fell through the map. So this one looks like it's the closest. And uh, I highly doubt it, but is there going to be an explorer out here? I don't think it is. I think it's just a little oasis. Deathy worm. Nice wyvern here. Oh, that one even has event colors. Look at it. It's pink. Here we go, we got this. I think we're good, we're shredding this death worm. He's got me pinned though, I can't move. I probably have to take off. I almost dumped those all into mo movement speed. Quit doing your melee! There we go. Damn. All right, I said quit doing your melee. Quit doing your animation, my man. I need you to focus. We're hunting death worms. Okay, so that got us another five. So if I'm correct, one, two, three, four, five. That's 11, right? Yep, 11 in melee. So we are at 55. So 88 levels is the most. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It happened again. Go for this one. This one's green. This is probably doing way more damage. Ah, oh, that one dropped a bag. Boom. So we got two death from horns. Let me uh, go recheck Dodo decks and see how many of these I need for a 150. Okay. So, it says, for a 150 Mantis, with my settings exactly, love Dodo decks for this, by the way, I didn't even know I could punch in my settings 
for all that, and it counts, and it does. Um, I only need two death room horns, but if it was woolly rhino horns, I'd need seven. So, yeah. And it'd take me 25 minutes. Uh, death room horns take me four. So, there's clearly an obvious winner here in what you should be using in terms of uh, actually, like, destroying creatures. Does this heal you? No. I'm going to have to, like, take you home and, like, baby you. Also, all my death rooms despawned. Except this one. Watch this one despawn, though, once I get closer to it. I want to get four more death worm horns, but I also don't want to push it on the health. Because I feel like if I do that, I will lose him. And that's what I did with my uh, other wyvern. Pushed him on his health, and then when that alpha wyvern attacked me, I was low. Then the other wyvern showed up. It, yeah, it was just a massacre. Also, I'm just trying to open my inventory. Why are these things, like, dying immediately? Boom. Come on, deathy wormy. This is probably shredding him faster, I'm pretty sure. It's 120 a hit. This might be my last death worm. My health is... I was at 6,000 something before. Okay. I will do one more death worm. One more. That would give me enough horns for two of them. Also, why aren't you collecting... That also gave me leech blood. That's awesome. I needed that. Uh. Am I, like, having a stroke? I can't remember how to play Ark for some reason. Boom. Okay. Now, let's go inventory. Boom. 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 Please do not fall through the map when I get close to you. There's a Fausalosuchus right next to it. We'll take that thing out first. Okay, now Deathworm. Let's trigger it. Hello, Deathworm. I even see it. Okay, this one does not want to pop out. Let's go for this one then. I don't know what was it with that one. It just didn't want to pop out. There we go. Okay. We gotta really watch our health. Ooh, don't be pushing it too far. There we go. Alright, that's the last that's the last death worm for now. I'm gonna take a Tiny, tiny break. Let him get some health. Then I'm going to come back. I think I'm going to just grab... You know, may as well grab another four. Just so that way, just in case something does go wrong, I have the death room horns for it. But anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking the episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, remember to hit that notification bell so that way you guys get notifications on when I post. Also... I am currently running a membership goal for the YouTube channel where we're trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. It's $1.99.
once we hit that goal of 10 members we will be opening up an arc server i am thinking it's going to be the center um but once we get more people we'll can we'll think more about what map we have but yeah anyways this has been gunshy mori signing off peace